Hello again, everybody. Um, I've been saying for a, a couple of weeks now that um, my Laceus flavus are growing quite large for their nest. Um, there's still plenty of space in there. I mean, they could fill this nest up lots more yet. Um, they've got a decent amount of brood and the worker count has now gone into the, the 40s. Um, I'm not exactly sure how many. Um, so they are growing. They're growing very nicely and doing very well this year. And I've been very impressed by their development. But the nest itself, as well as them getting big for it, I live in a hard water area. And I think this is lime scale that's got discoloured by ant waste but the nest itself is getting a bit manky and a bit horrible and so I've been saying I was going to offer them a new uh, the alternative new um, nest from Wakushi um, and so today I decided that this is what I was going to do um, and the reason uh, I think this is good for everybody is that you know I'm showing here the space that they're in it's about a 50 pence piece worth of space as you can see um, so it's not much different to if you've got your ants at the moment in a test tube and I put a test tube alongside for comparison. And so the easiest way to do this is if you've got your test tube connected up to an outworld is to create a T-junction. Um, now I've got these four-way connectors from Wakushi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this um, cover there and I'm going to put the new nest in. But you could be connecting a test tube up to a nest and an outworld via a T-junction. Um, this is how I moved my ants when I first moved them. And I'm showing here, I did a quick search on Etsy. I looked for ant farm tube connectors and I found shops on Etsy that are selling T-shaped connectors and other connectors. So you don't need to buy an actual four-way connector like I've done. You can just get uh, a connection thing like that. Um, so yeah, this is what I would do when you're ready, when you think your ants are out growing your test tube. And I got my camera here all set up ready to film this and then discovered that this was oh practically welded on it was so stiff i just could not get it off and in the end i actually had to disassemble this i had to stuff cotton wool in all the holes to stop the ants getting out and take that whole middle um four section off turn it upside down and um get something to really push this off i just could not get this to slide off so it was a bit tricky um but yeah, as I said, what I did was I, I disassembled the whole thing and um, here it is all finished. So uh, the nest, I think, is a little bit too big for them at the moment. But you've seen with my Laceus Niger just how I mean, it's taken them seven or eight weeks to leave their old nest and fully move into the new nest. So I think over the next seven or eight weeks, these flavus will start moving themselves across. But we'll see how it goes. Um, and on another topic, just a final little bit at the end, I, I, I said to you in one of my previous videos that I'm always trying out my ants with new foods. And my wife said to me, she said, well, why don't you try them with cucumber? And I was like, cucumber, they're not going to eat cucumber. Why, why would they eat cucumber? She said, it's a fruit. It's sweet. I mean, I don't think cucumber's that sweet, but I tried it anyway. And yes, they seem to love cucumber. <laughs> Um, so the Laceus niger really take to it um, and they suck it completely dry. So um, it's, it's a food that they really enjoy. So yeah, I try new foods and cucumber is on the menu. Right, so I'll bring you updates with what happens with the Flavus. Um, thank you for watching everybody. Until next time, goodbye.